back to another episode of Wild and Free. I've got a super exciting video for you today. Uh, I'm going to be doing a walk around of my cargo trailer that I uh, converted into a tiny home just recently. Um, I've been living in it though for the past year and a half with my girlfriend. Um, the reason for this build isn't to travel the country. Um, it's simply uh, because we needed a place to stay once the wind made the long trek from Iowa to Alaska. Um, and we built a home up there. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. And uh, drop a like and subscribe. state a couple stats about the trailer um, it's an 8 by 16 with an extra 12 inches on top um, when I first bought it I went underneath it put a two inch um, layer of foam and then rhino lined it and then I came back inside and then I put a two inch layer of foam and then a plywood and then flooring um, the walls and the ceiling is just one layer of two inch foam um, so all these cabinets uh, the kitchen countertop and well, really everything in here I built um, myself. I'll probably throw up a few pictures here um, of the process. Sadly, I didn't film it. Um, just to give you guys a better uh, understanding of what's under here. Okay guys, so as you can see from this first picture here, I've already got the wall and floor insulation done and I've started on the framing. Um, so how I did that was I started in the front um, I framed out my cabinets and my shower, moved on to the kitchen, and then I finished with uh, my bed and the garage area. Um, after that, I moved on to the walls. You can see there's one by threes along the walls, and I put that up so that I could nail in uh, my vinyl my vinyl walls rather than having to screw them into the uh, the uh, the metal frame of the cargo trailer. So then I moved on to the electrical. Um, and then once that was complete with all the framing, uh, after that, it's pretty much just putting your uh, trailer together the way you want it to look. Um, I started with the shower, um, a little bit of the rhino liner inside of the cabinets, uh, the floors, and then the walls, the ceiling, and uh, so forth. Okay hey guys, so we'll start off with the wood stove here. Um, this thing is called the Cubic Mini Wood Stove. Um, it's pretty cool looking, kind of looks antique. Um, I've got galvanized steel all around it with a stone slab underneath to help uh, insulate uh, with a wood cabinet underneath. Uh, I store my wood chunks in there and then uh, kindling and stuff like that in there. I got a hatchet. To the right of that, I got an ax. Um, ash scooper and a poker stick um, works pretty good almost too good um, I have after the first couple months of using it in here the temperature fluctuates up and down so crazy that I kind of graduated to a space heater it keeps the temperature in here a little bit uh, more stable um, it's a lot easier to control I am glad I have it especially on the nights where it gets super cold out um, it does help uh, just uh, make sure you open up a window if you do buy one of these for for your own build um, to the right of it 
uh, on top of this uh, little makeshift countertop thing, uh, I got a Berkey. Uh, these things are freaking awesome, man. Um, I've got a couple buddies uh, that were in the military, a couple different military branches. Um, they use these uh, to filter out their water. Uh, one guy said that they would literally go um, dump it in the swamp water and it would filter out and come out perfectly good drinking water. So one of these is uh, pretty nice to have. And then up here, just got a, like a little bookshelf thing. We store like all of our notebooks, our Bible, and then uh, we got movies in here, uh, which is essential. Uh, to the right of that, I got my grandmother's first gun. She she uh, she shot her first deer with that, so it's kind of an antique. Um, it's a family heirloom thing, really important for me. Um, so I have it up there on the wall, hanging there, so I can remember her. And then got the window underneath. Uh, sometimes we eat our meals here at this little old makeshift countertop. We use these little stool things as seats, also as storage. Um, I keep like hats, a belt, uh, a gun holster in there. And, uh, and yeah, um, usually we have uh, dishes that we're drying right there, sitting right there. So we don't normally eat right there, but if we had to, that's what we do. Uh, typically we eat in the bed. Um, I know it's a sin for most people to eat in the bed, uh, as is for me, but um, you know, when you're living in a tiny home like this, you kinda gotta use what you have, so. And then right here, um, I've just got some extra towels, blankets, a um, couple guns back there, coat rack. Um, then my TV set up, just using Xbox, kind of the hub. Um, and then a little monitor thing that I rigged up to this um, little TV mount thing that can s spin. So if I wanted to watch from the kitchen, I could. And then, but typically it's just pointed towards the bed here so that, uh, that we can watch it in bed. Um, it works great. Got a little speaker back here, um, little wiring ports. Got a little window on my back door. Um, it drops down. Uh, I bought this trailer during COVID, and so they weren't making the the doors that slide or uh, open up. Um, so a dual door system where one goes that way, one goes that way. They weren't making those, um, or I couldn't get it, should I say. And um, so I had to go with the drop down, which isn't terrible. Um, it does kind of suck that you have to walk on your wall though um, to get into the garage, which is underneath the bed. Not much under there besides, you know, a bunch of my crap, my hunting stuff and, um, you know, miscellaneous tools and stuff. I do have electrical over here underneath the bed though, because I have 400 watts of solar up top. Um, I've got about four 200 mAh batteries underneath that power my lights, um, my water pumps on for my shower and for my uh, faucet. Um, and then, but I can also convert it uh, with just a switch of my inverter to um, everything, um, everything being powered by solar, which is pretty handy if you're on the road. Um, but most of the time I just hook up because uh, we are living at a campground right now. I've got a refrigerator underneath, um, pretty handy little deal. Um, a little bookshelf up there uh, with a carbon monoxide reader in the back, very important. So I'll show you guys my refrigerator here. Um, I was gonna set you down, but this is gonna work better. Um, so it has, has this little curtain here. I just kind of use it uh, cause it looks nicer from the outside. Uh, you're not looking at a bare refrigerator under here. Um, and then it's got this little, little latch here. You just pull up on that and it slides out just like that. Looks pretty good. And then a couple latches here. I usually just leave them unlatched and uh, you can grab whatever you need out of there. Pretty simple little thing. I like this. Um, I did a video on it. So if you wanna watch that, um, you can. And then up above there, I got my little alcohol cabinet. Uh, store a few different things in here. Got some rum chata, some crown peach, little snackages, some ammo, um, all sorts of stuff. Some essential oils on top, um, some some uh, bathroom and kitchen stuff right here, toothpicks, ear swabs, towels, um, 
my controllers for my space heater and then my air conditioner. Um, I got my light switch right here, turns on my lights on and off. Um, little 1911 mag holder, which is right here, just in case you guys wanna pop in and say hi at a late hour. Um, and then a sink. Um, I got towels up top. One's a hand rag, one's a drying rag for dishes. Um, this little system's cool. This is probably one of my favorite features. You just click on uh, your water pump and then you can lift that little handle and you got running water. It's pretty neat. The system I got under here is a couple five gallon water tanks and then a five gallon gray tank. Just have to empty it out. Um, I was going to just drop a hole straight down, um, but my axles are right underneath that. Just did it this way. It, it works good, um, especially if you're on the road. I feel like this system here, having a gray tank is probably what would work best for you. Um, for me in the long run, I'll probably end up just um, porting a hole through the floor and just dropping it underneath um, once I'm up in Alaska because I don't care if water goes out on my property. Um, but if you're camping around and you're on other people's land, uh, the respectful thing to do is to have a gray tank and uh, dump it in the appropriate spot. Um, after that, this is the countertop here in the kitchen. Um, our stove uh, is currently being stored in there. We just pull it out and we can cook on it. Uh, I'll show you that later. Um, for now, the microwave toaster and spice rack. Um, usually we have four mugs up there on those little hooks. Doesn't really look the best with only one, but that's the lone survivor. All the other ones have broken um, from uh, my girl's cleaning. She's lovely at what she does. And um, up here, just got a cabinet to store, you know, mugs, water bottles, stuff like that. Um, some homemade potato bread, some butter. Um, this kitchens, I believe it's like seven foot long and it's plenty of space. I mean, it's plenty of space for, uh, for, for us. Uh, you might be different, um, but it works out. We usually just have the stove right here, connects to the propane tank underneath. I don't know if you guys saw that. Um, under here, we've got, like I said, the propane tank, crock pot, you know, tubware, air fryer, um, cause these things are awesome. And then this other one here, this is my stove. It's an Everest Mountain Series wood stove. I just would pull it out here. Sits right there. And you just connect it to propane and you can cook whatever you need. Um, we use this a lot um, if we need an oven. I don't know if you guys saw, but we have a Traeger outside of our trailer, um, a Traeger wood pellet grill. And then down here, we got our plates, bowls, you know, pots, pans, uh, cutting boards, all that jazz you need to um, eat. And then up top here, we have a Max Air Fan. I love this thing. Um, this is just like a little insulation um, uh, barrier so that you don't have, uh, you know, airflow coming in from the outside in the winter um, or even in the summer. Um, this thing works great, so whenever we're using this stove here, we uh, we fire this puppy on with that window open and it circulates the air well. Um, so we're not breathing in all the fumes. This is a misc drawer. Don't wanna bore you with that. Well, why not? So just keep all of our random stuff in here, unorganized and ugly. Um, works great. And here we got all of our, our silverware. Um, it also works great. I just bought a little, like, a little bamboo, um, organizer thing off of Amazon. Um, it works really good. And then now to the front of the trailer, got a little mirror here that, uh, me and my girlfriend use before we leave the house. And then underneath that, I've got my pantry. Um, just open it up here. I store all my dry goods. Um, got a few um, miscellaneous organizer things that I've got in the back, on the wall, and then on the door here. Works good. 
Wish I had more space, but it's kind of kind of the way it is when you live in a uh, in, in a tiny home like this. Um, and then moving on, I've got my shower, just galvanized steel on the outside. Uh, kept it simple. Um, the water tank that you see in there that goes out um, when I'm actually using it. Um, and and yeah, little rain shower head. Um, little temperature gauge, hook for the keys, uh, beer opener, and um, back here is where my space heater lives. Um, to the right there, there's an outlet inside, and then that's also where we store shoes, and um, it's kind of a mess in there. Um, and then to the left of it, this is where I store my water heater. I did a video. Um, I did a video on this uh, not too long ago. Uh, the stainless steel uh, bowl there is because I can't get that thing to stop le leaking. You can see all my uh, water weld uh, in there, and then above that, just miscellaneous stuff. Um, that's all of our hair. I don't know. I don't know. That's kind of her stuff. Um, up here, same deal. Um, oh, baseball cards for my grandma. I got to sort those and sell them. So if you want to buy them, uh, hit me up. <laughs> and then to the right here, we store our clothes, dirty clothes. Um, and then below there, it's kind of another one of her cabinets. Um, some more baseball cards, uh, random stuff. And then these are all of my and her clothes as well um so a little sock drawer um or not a drawer a cabinet and um you know miscellaneous clothes shirts um sweatshirts um workout stuff pretty much my cargo trailer video um, I didn't dive in too much into the the garage space underneath um, that's just based on the fact that if you are gonna build one of these um, or if you already have you understand that once that space is there you kind of just jam-pack whatever you can um, and it's it's not pretty it's not even worth going over um, I didn't go into the electrical at all um, just based on um, well, in my opinion, um, you should buy a book or two and, um, and learn uh, before you do anything with electrical. Uh, you should not go on YouTube and look at these cargo trailer conversion videos and copy them. Um, you should buy a book, read it, learn about it, and then go from there. Um, buy what you need based on your situation and uh, not what other people use. Because um, the last thing you want is to fry something or, or, uh, or fry yourself. So that's my helpful tip on the day. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you would please like, comment, subscribe, um, or if you want to show support in any other way, um, you can uh, click the link below in the description um, to my GoFundMe. Um, that'd be much appreciated. As well as there's gonna be a few things down, down there like uh, the appliances, because I didn't really go into brands throughout the video besides maybe the wood stove. Um, so I'll list a ton of stuff down there, all the stuff that I bought and use. Um, uh, maybe just, maybe I'll just keep it to the stuff that I really like. Uh, but other than that guys, that's it. That's the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a good day.